All right, so we're going to discuss heating curves. So as we saw in class during this um, initial phase, which we weren't able to observe, we just have solid ice. And then we have a phase change occurring. There's no change in temperature, and you have ice and water in your beaker. Then you have just an increase in temperature going steadily up, and that is just you heating liquid water. Once it reaches 100 degrees, um, it is water and steam at the same time. Okay, so you have basically boiling water, which is another phase change. No change in temperature. And then this last phase is just heating up the steam again. Now, don't get too bogged down in these equations. I just wanted, to, um, I like the animation, so I wanted to show you that. Here's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is the same type of thing. So we have our um, five regions of our heating curve. And then this actually has a molecular level view of all of the states that are occurring. So in the first phase, we have just solid that is being heated. And then in this... Uh, first flat region right here, that's the first phase change, you'll see you have solid and liquid in the same container. And then you have just liquid. And then during the second phase change, you have liquid and some gas. And in this last leg, you just have gas. So in class, we talked about um, the fact that these horizontal lines, you have no change in temperature. Well, because there's no change in temperature, um, you know, we're still adding energy steadily, so the question becomes if the energy is not being used to increase the temperature or make the molecules move faster, what is it doing? Well, at these horizontal lines, the energy is being used to break the interactions between molecules. In the case of water, the actual hydrogen bonds. So right here, the energy is being used to break all of the hydrogen bonds in these solid molecules so that they can interact more like a liquid to help them spread apart more. Over here in the second phase change region, uh, you have a break of the final hydrogen bond so that there's no interactions at all in the gas phase. <clears throat> so... Just remember, um, when you're talking about heating curves, your main focus is going to be these phase changes, these horizontal lines, okay, and the energy is being used to break bonds.